Welcome back. After months of construction, Lafitte Park is now officially open to the public. I'm Penelope Lopez, your Million Parish reporter on the fishing pier, getting a look at all the new changes this park has to offer and speaking with community members about the new fishing opportunities in town. After several months of construction, the new fishing pier at Lafitte Drive-In Park in Abbeville is open to the public, and resident Bridget Levi is already hooked. Come on down to Lafitte Park and see for your own self. As an Abbeville native, she has fond memories coming to the park as a young girl. At a young age, we used to come over here at, used over there, it used to be a big old the, it used to be a big old projector where you drive in and you park your car and put the uh, intercom on your car and watch movies. It used to call Frank the Ada. And while it may look different now, she says these new improvements offer an opportunity for everyone in the community to feel welcomed. A lot of people now, they don't have to walk on the streets. They can come here and walk. And if they get tired, they can come and sit under the trees and catch shed. And one exciting new and very important feature is a ramp that starts at the front of the park all the way to the end until you reach the fishing pier. Now individuals with a disability or in a wheelchair can access the fishing pier at any time. It was a great day because I caught all of these. And you can reel in different types of fish on the 15 by 15 feet pier like Skylar Crosby. Or just in case fishing is not your thing, you can follow Bridget's lead and watch from afar. I don't fish but I watch. <laughs> Either way, there is plenty to do, giving an opportunity for anyone to enjoy. The park is open seven days a week, and Bridget tells me she can't wait to take a stroll in the park with her grandkids. I can have my grandkids can come here and see what the walking trail and the fishing pier at their age, and when they grow up, they'll be able to tell their grandkids. One important note, the dog area is currently not in use, and that's because they're planning on relocating it towards the front of the park. But don't you worry, if you have furry little friends, you can still bring them to the park as long as they're on a leash. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more news and weather coverage after this break on Acadiana's News Channel at 6.